Oh my beauty, look at you sleeping. How many years have you been sleeping like that? Who put this curse on you? Oh, I have come to steal all your belongings and go away! Eh? 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 Not all fairy tales have happy endings. This is a book by Ken Williams, the co-founder of Sierra, Sierra Online, uh, and he also was the CEO for many years. And this book really is a labor of love and nostalgia, although in many times in the book he says that he doesn't remember much from those times because 20 plus years have passed and he has moved on to boating and uh, traveling and his family and things like that. Still, many nice vintage info, corporate info about what happens behind the scenes in big companies towards the end of the book. And why do I say this is a labor of love? Many books of this kind have a very specific structure, very specific language, and very, very, very specific way of being written. This book is all over the place. Doesn't have consistent writing, doesn't have consistent style, and has many interludes, as he calls them, which, uh, in the beginning, it seems like he put a couple of interludes to put his own personal opinions about things like programming and companies, which don't refer to Sierra. But after that, he went all out, and there are, at, at one point in the book, there are three or four interludes, one after the other, so they're not even interludes anymore. So you could say that its structure is no structure. Yes. And that's why I believe this book was written by himself, not by shadow writers, as usually is done with uh, autobiographical books. I believe that this man sat down and wrote this book by himself. Another thing about this book is that when I bought it, I thought that it is very expensive for a soft cover book. However, as we will see later when we see the pages, it's all in full color. Almost every second page has a full color photograph or illustration from those days. And I guess this completely not only justifies the price of the book, but also makes it look cheap when you see how many color illustrations are inside. I haven't seen so many color photos and illustrations in a book for a very, very long time at this price. So let's go see some pages. Okay, cover. Timeline. Contents. Vintage photos. You see, photos, every second page almost. Disk drive, 250 megabytes. <clears throat> Employee rating pyramid. Advertisement for King's Quest 4. Sierra Half-Life. Okay, there's a small mistake here. This is not Quake 1, but it's okay. This came out after the end of Sierra, King's Quest 8, if I remember well. And a list of Sierra firsts. The first things ever done by Sierra. So, what is my opinion for this book? I don't regret a euro cent of what I spent to buy it. This book gave me insight, not only into the mind of a founder of a game company, not only in how companies work in the past and present, and not only in how some of the most famous games ever were made. It was great reading for me, it gave me nostalgia, gave me hope, and if you have passing interest in Sierra games and adventure games of all, and not only adventure games, like he says, because Sierra is now known only for their adventure games, but in the past they published a lot of games, they even published Half-Life 1, I did not remember that. I mean, they were the publishers of this masterpiece. If you have interest in all that, buy this book, read this book, you will not regret it. If you don't have an interest, why are you watching this video anyway? Bye. So will you tell me a story about Sierra? Educate yourself, woman!